Hi everybody, this is Jim from MyWaterEarthAndSky.com. Today we want to talk about uh, shock chlorine and some of the effects it might have on your swimming pool. There's been a lot of chit chat on uh, recently on the internet about uh, people that are uh, wondering why their pool turns cloudy um, or milky after they apply chlorine. There's really simple reasons for this and I'll show you why. The reason being that calcium chloride, hyperchlorite, uh, causes some cloudiness in your pool as shock chlorine um, because it, before it dissolves, um, there's some calcium and salts inert material that uh, will either sink to the bottom of your pool eventually or dissolve completely. So what you see is those crystals inside the uh, shock chlorine dissolving. It's quite natural. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the product. Uh, a product like uh, HDH is, is a grand product. It's a good product to use. Um, there are some that are faster dissolving than others, but um, they work just the same according to the active ingredient inside. You, you always want to check the active ingredient, how much, how potent the product is. As a test, I'm going to put some uh, shock chlorine right inside the water here and you'll, you'll see for yourself that the uh, crystals, the binders and elements that are involved with the, with the shock chlorine, even calcium is in there. It's inert material. Um, disappears after five minutes or so. But you can see right here, just in this one spot, some of the crystals will fall right down to the bottom of the pool. Others will dissolve. This is a fast dissolving uh, product from HTH. And you can see right here, it's almost gone after five minutes. I, I see some trace of it. But this product, these crystals, will, evap or will dissolve and disappear within 30 minutes. Total, if you use four or five bags, it'll be gone. Anything that falls to the bottom of the pool, you're going to vacuum. And you should vacuum after you shock your pool anyways. Um, and maybe some uh, water, use some uh, water polisher or, or clarifier. So you shock, use some clarifier, let it settle. And what you're going to do is vacuum any remnants or inert material that comes from shock and anything else that's in the pool. It'll all go away. As long as you use a quality product, you check the active ingredients on the bag or the package. Um, you won't have any problem with any kind of uh, collection of inert uh, material that may be uh, in the product that helps it dissolve or work. Uh, cal it might be some extra calcium that you may have to deal with. If you have a problem with hard water, then you can deal with that later on. But the shock chlorine that I use today, the HDH, is just a quality product and you shouldn't uh, there should be no worry or concern uh, about uh, the effectiveness of this uh, shock chlorine it'll work it'll dissolve um, you're going to vacuum anyways after you do this even with regular maintenance you're going to vacuum once a week any any inert material that collects and before it dissolves settles to the pool settles to the bottom of the pool um, will be caught up in the vacuum and the, and the waste it's really a non-issue and um, some people on the internet are making it an issue for you to worry about. You shouldn't worry about it. When you use shock chlorine, you should apply it by walking around the perimeter of your pool and tossing it in maybe a foot off the sides uh, with the filter running so it will circulate. Um, I don't recommend mixing uh, shock chlorine um, unless you're in a vinyl uh, liner in your pool. But for a concrete pool, um, I don't recommend mixing it at all. The more potent it is, the better it is for you, the less you'll use. There's no sense mixing it in a bucket of water and then trying to uh, throw it around your, uh, your concrete pool. Just take the bag, cut the corner open, walk around the perimeter of the pool, and add it to the water. 
Um, if there's any left, throw it in the deep part in the middle. 